Here we are on the beach near Soap Creek Rapids. If you look at the rock in front of you, you'll see all these crisscrossing lines on it, which is called bioturbation. And it's a type of fossil created by living organisms, such as worms, tunneling through the sand. UC Davis graduate student, Roxanne Banker, can tell you a little bit more about the fossil. So what this is, is like a fossilized burrow. And you can just imagine that there used to be some sort of animal moving through here. And then later that got filled in and then it was fossilized. And I just think it's really cool, um, or the trace fossils are really cool because it shows the ecology of what animals were doing, you know, millions of years ago. If you look up a bit and all around you, you'll see these dark slopes sliding from the canyon walls. That's the Hermit Shale, which is about 280 million years old. Here's UC Davis grad student, Veronica Prush, with more info on the shale. Right up ahead of us is the Hermit Shale, and, and you can see it's a really prominent contact between the lighter, more buff-colored units above, and then a maroon layer below. That maroon layer is the Hermit Shale. And the Hermit Shale is really cool because it apparently has a bunch of fossil plants in it, and many of them can't be found anywhere else in the world. They're over here in the Hermit Shale. These rocks provide us with a timeline that allows us to figure out what the world was like during that period of time. The rock with the bioturbation represents a marine environment where organisms lived and burrowed within the sediment. And the hermit shale? That represents a deep, calm marine environment. As we travel further downriver, we are moving backwards in geological time, where we can see Earth's history play out over billions of years.